Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Angular Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Angular demo application as we introduce the ng repeat directive and its filtering and sorting capabilities. Let's get started. I have opened the Angular demo project in my editor. Open the controller's coffee source file located in the source main app coffee directory and find the greeting controller. Remove the greeting attribute from the scope. In its place, create an array of greeting objects. Each object should have an ID, text, and greeting property. As you can see, array and object notation has a slightly different format in CoffeeScript, leveraging indentation rather than curly braces. However, CoffeeScript also accepts standard JSON notation. Next, let's modify the index page. Open the index.html file located in the source main app directory. Locate the main content section which is bound to the greeting controller. Replace the span tag with an unordered list. The list item tag uses the ng repeat directive attribute. This directive iterates over the members of an array or a collection. Notice that the syntax is similar to that of a Java for loop. The ng repeat directive creates its own nested scope as it iterates over the array. In this example, the directive iterates over the collection named greetings located in the greeting controller scope. For each item in the collection, the ng repeat directive creates a greeting attribute in its own scope and exposes the greeting to the HTML DOM structure nested within the repeat directive. We access the properties of each greeting object using Angular expressions and the standard dot notation. Let's run the application to test these changes. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type gulp space run to start the local web server on port 9000. Open a new browser tab and go to localhost colon 9000 slash index.html. Beneath the header in the main content area, the unordered list of greetings is displayed. The ng repeat directive creates a list item for each greeting in the array. Our list is quite small, but imagine if we had a long list and want to provide the user a way to filter the list. The ng repeat directive works with the Angular filter filter. The filter used in conjunction with the repeat directive returns only the array items which match the filter text. Let's open the index.html file again and create a simple input tag to collect filter text. We have not yet discussed Angular data binding, forms, and the ng model directive in this instructional series. For the purpose of this video, suffice it to say that the ng model directive attribute on the input tag defines a new scope attribute named greeting filter in the greeting controller. Any text typed into this input field will be stored in that scope variable. Next, update the repeat directive to include the filter filter. 
The filter uses the value of the greeting filter attribute found in the greeting controller scope to return only the subset of items in the greeting array that have any property values matching the value of the greeting filter scope attribute. Let's run the application once more to test the filter. If we look at the terminal window, we left the gulp run task executing while we changed the application. Notice that gulp monitors the file system for source code changes and automatically deploys them to the distribution directory. Let's open the browser window again. Notice the input field is displayed above the list. Try typing text into the filter field one character at a time. The Angular filter, in combination with the repeat directive, limits the greetings displayed depending upon the filter input field value. Take a moment to reflect on how simple it was to implement this capability and how useful it is in real-world application development. Let's add the ability to sort the list of greetings. Once again, open the index.html file again. Just above the filter text input, add a select tag to create a drop-down box. The select tag also uses the ng model directive attribute to bind the input value to a scope attribute named greeting sort. The sort option values are property names from the objects in the collection, in this case the greeting objects. In our case, we will allow users to sort by the text attribute or the lang attribute. To customize the behavior of the ng repeat directive, use Angular's order by filter to sort the collection of greetings by the greeting object attribute named in the greeting sort scope attribute. Finally, let's set a default sort value for the initial rendering of this template. Open the controller's coffee source file and locate the greeting controller. Simply set an initial value for the greeting sort scope parameter to initialize it. Let's run the application once more to test the sorting. If we look at the terminal window, Gulp is still running the application and updated it as we made changes. Open the browser window again. Notice the sort drop-down box is displayed above the list. Try selecting different sort options and watch how Angular automatically reorders the list. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com.